Hi, this is Rick Stroud with Stephen Holder of the St. Petersburg Times, and we're here the first day of training camp, finally on the field. The lockout's over. Everybody is uh, mostly accounted for. If they yeah. are not a veteran that uh, is going to sign a contract tonight, those guys will come in at least by August 4th. But some early impressions, and I think the first guy that we looked at today, Stephen, is someone that we haven't seen that, that was a big story going into the draft, and that's Daquan Bowers. Had the knee injury. No one had really talked to him all that much. Wanted to see how he moved around, and what were your impressions of him? I got to tell you, pleasantly surprised. I think the guy moved around pretty well. Uh, for, for a practice that was considered a walkthrough, I think <laughs> we saw a pretty quick pace this morning, and uh, they were running around pretty good, and, and he did everything. He was not held out of any drills, individual or team, and uh, he, you know, he took some snaps with the first team defense at times, so uh, Kyle Moore gave away, or gave away, excuse me, to Kyle Moore at other times, but he looked like a guy who, who's going to play a role for this team and is going to have every opportunity to be the player the Bucks hope he can be. Uh, this goes back to January where he had that offseason knee surgery and really just destroyed his draft status and he dropped to number 51 in the draft to the Bucks. This is a guy who was projected as a top five pick, had 16 sacks to lead the nation at yeah. Clemson last year. So you know, just a remarkable story if he can bounce back from what he went through uh, to really be a factor for this team. Now on the other side of the ball, Rick, uh, late last night we burned the midnight oil as did the Bucks, and uh, uh, documented the signings of Jeremy Trueblood and Davin Joseph to that big contract. They also signed Atlanta, uh, form, former Atlanta punter uh, Mike Keenan. But going to looking at the offensive line, uh, they have really done a good job of uh, sort of cultivating that unit and, and keeping it intact and, and talk about the depth at that position right now. Well, they have a lot because they had some injured guys last year and, and the, you know, Davin Joseph was one of those guys along with Jeff Fain who's trying to come back. He missed eight games uh, with, with various injuries. So, yeah, I think, you know, we all knew Davin was the priority in, off, in the offseason as far as free agency goes. He gets a very large contract and, and uh, you know, a lot of money guaranteed, which is good for him because he's earned it. Um, but now suddenly you have a guy like Jeremy Zuta who can also play center or guard. Guys like Ted Larson that played a lot of football last year. Even Derek Hardman who, who yeah. can play inside or outside. And James Lee who actually took Trueblood's job when Trueblood had a knee injury. So a lot of depth on that offensive line. And let's face it, protecting Josh Freeman, anything you can do to protect the franchise is the biggest priority of this team, however you do it, uh, whether it's getting the ball back or or just having a guy like Davin and Jeremy Trueblood. So, you know, that's definitely uh, the news of the day. And uh, the Bucks will be on the field for the first time, I guess, uh, in pads or with some contact at least later tonight. So check back with us all this uh, training camps for more updates uh, on the Buccaneers here at One Buck Place with the St. Peter.